Welcome everyone to this amazing Saturday. A fun-filled Saturday for many, right? Saturdays and Sundays are so kind of awaited all the time. Holidays, time that we can spend with our loved ones. But it is not just about the Saturdays and Sundays. The balance of life is when in our everyday hectic life, we can take out time each day for something that we love to do and something that somebody else loves that we can do for them. Something that can bring a smile to even one person is a great Saturday or Sunday that you can create in your everyday life. So let's get to the angels and ask them what is it that they wish to tell us on this gorgeous day. The angels tell us, the illusion you live in has made you forget your own divine nature, which comprises of divine gifts and potential. Appreciate your baby steps towards your goals. Appreciate yourself every time you transcend a seemingly negative situation with positivity. We can help you polish your talents for the betterment of the world and at the same time, guard you against any ego slips that you may come across. Such a powerful message. The angels tell us, just as yesterday, Archangel Haniel told us to move away from our limited self. Angels tell us that the illusion that we live in make us forget the true divine nature of ourselves and the divine gifts that we innately carry. The potential, that limitless potential that we have resting within us. The angels ask us to appreciate every baby step that we take towards positivity it is not that big lottery and it is not that big seeming thing and the job and oh i have lost 20 kgs so wow it is the baby steps it is when you can transcend that little little things that grip you that bring you down that little thing that is deterring you that little thing that is angering you when you can do that feel great Appreciate your soul. Say thank you. Thank you, my mind, body, and spirit for helping me to transcend this. Thank you, angels, for standing by me and helping me to stand in my inner power. When we do that, we are telling our soul and reaffirming to our soul that I am there to look after you. This precious life that you have taken upon this earth, I am there to look in to every little detail and to appreciate you for everything that you do to live in love and harmony of that one God with whose love you have come down to earth. The angels tell us that we can always with their help polish our talents and innate gifts for the betterment of the world but at the same time they are also there to guard us against any ego slips that may come across our path. It is so easy. So many times I meet people who are on the spiritual path or doing anything, any kind of inner work is spiritual by itself because you're working with the spirit. And when we are doing that, many a times, many people unconsciously sometimes let the ego come in where they feel, oh my God, this person is just not listening. That person is so negative. And you know, I, I, I'm doing all this inner work and I don't think I want to deal with this person. And we start this discrimination. But spirituality is there to do the very thing, to liberate us. But if it is creating more discrimination, then it is not spirituality. And you cannot just move away from the negating factors of the world. You have to be in darkness to light the light. What use is of light in bright sunshine? Yes. It is only in the dark tunnel and that one little matchstick is the most precious light that you can ever, you know, lit at that moment. So when you are doing any kind of inner work and there are people still struggling with their journeys, do not discriminate. Do not shun them off. But work with your inner light so that you can light their inner light. 
help ignite that light and then you see the ripple effect see how the energy propels itself towards doing the same with everyone around and then you will reach the true satisfaction that true core of your inner being which is resting with all those innate gifts those divine potential and gifts that are resting within all of us it is only that some have awakened it and some haven't for some it is active and some it is passive for some it is predominant and for some it is completely dormant so work with the angels to awaken this light within so that you can help many others light their own light with this we move on to the color of the day and today's color is the gorgeous royal purple the royal purple for the crown chakra so work with the royal purple cleanse and clear your crown chakra so that you can allow the divine intervention to enter the sky dome of existence ask your angels to help you cleanse and clear the space and welcome the universal energies to flow through you at all times we leave you for a gorgeous weekend ahead stay blessed loved and protected take a flight up to the heavens flying your wings and shining your light upon the world stay blessed love you all